वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू डे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव द कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन इन थ्री डायमेंशनल सो फॉर डेरीवेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन लेट अस वी कंसीडर अ फ्लूड एलिमेंट और वी कैन से कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम और पैरल पाइप विथ द साइड दैट इज द पैरल टू द एक्स एक्सिस दैट इज डी एक्स parallel to the y axis it is dy parallel to the z axis that is dz so this is our a uh, control volume or we can say a parallel pipe with a side of the dx dy and dz let me give the name of different points that is a b c and d so this is one plane another plane is e f g h let we take rho is the mass density of a fluid then u v and w is the component of velocity in particular x y and z direction so u v w is components of velocity in x y and z direction respectively now let we consider the one fluid enters from the phase that is the a b c d so i am marking with this green line so fluid enters from this side so it is parallel to x direction so the velocity component of the fluid associate with this x direction is u so let me take u now we write it down the rate of mass flow enters from the phase a b c d so rate of fluid entering from phase a b c d it is equals to the density into the velocity into the area area of a b c d so we know the dimension that is ad that is dz and ab is dy so the area of this phase is dy and dz and velocity which is uh, over here it is u that is a component of velocity so we take rho then velocity is u and the area is dy into dz so finally we get the mass enter that is rho u dy dz now we consider the rate of mass fluid leaving from the phase e f g h so let me write this is our first point let me write the rate of mass rate of the fluid leaving from phase e f g h so again we use the formula that if the any component or any velocity components over here it is u then here it is becomes a u plus del u by del x into dx the phase a b c d and e f g h are apart at a distance of dx so we can write over here that rho u dy dz plus del by del of x into rho u dy dz into dx now we have the two expression one is for mass entering and second is for mass leaving so using this two expression we can write the gain of mass per unit time in the x directions that is a difference between the mass of fluid leaving from efgh minus the entering so let me write the gain in mass per unit time in x direction which is equals to the mass 
enters minus mass leaving so rate of fluid entering minus rate of fluid leaving so we have entering that is rho u dy dz minus in the bracket we have rho u dy dz plus del by del x of rho u dy dz into dx so finally this term is cancel it out and we get minus of del by del x rho u dy dz into dx now we know that the dimensions cannot be changed with respect to x so we take it out of the differentiation so finally we get del by del x of rho u into dx dy dz so this is the net gain or mass accumulated per unit time due to the flow in x directions now similarly we can write the net gain in the mask due to the flow in y directions as well as in the z directions so similarly i write the expressions for y and z directions gain in mass per unit time in y direction and z direction so we can write for y direction it is minus del by del y of rho into v into dx dy dz similarly for z direction we can write minus del by del z of rho w into dx dy dz now from this all three directions we can write the total gain in mass in the parallel pipe or the control volume so total gain in mass per unit time in control volume so it is a summation of the net mass gain in x direction y direction and z direction so we get minus del by del x of rho into u we take a minus sign common from all the three terms del by del y of rho into v plus del by del z rho w into this dx dy dz is common it out from all the three terms so we get this now uh, i'm giving the expression number three now we have also the rate of change of mass of the control volume we can have the rate of change of mass with respect to time in control volume so it is del m by del t so we know that mass equals to the density into the volume so this is volume so volume of the control volume is uh, we have considered that is rho into dx dy dz so this is our expression number 4 now here we have a two expression one is a total mass gain per unit time in the control volume which is expressed by the expression number 3 and similarly the rate of change of mass with respect to time in control volume we have the expression number 4 and both the equations are same so we can compare the equation 3 and 4 so comparing equation 3 and 4 so we have minus del by del x we have big, bigger brackets into plus del by del y of rho v plus del by del z of rho w into the dx dy dz 
and from the expression 4 we have the del by del t into rho into we can write as a dx dy dz and dx dy dz is cancel it out from both the terms and if we rearrange this expression then we get the expression that is minus bracket del by del x of rho into u plus del by del y of rho into v plus del by del z of rho into w equals to del rho by del t and if we rearrange the expression then we get the del by del x of rho u plus del by del y of rho v plus del by del z of rho w plus del by del t of rho equals to z so this is the uh, three dimensional general form of continuity equations now we reduce this three dimensional general form of continuity equation for various types of flow so first we consider the steady flow so steady flow variation with respect to time is zero so our term del rho by del t which is equals to zero so for steady flow we get the del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z which is equals to zero here we also consider the rho is constant because we assume the incompressible fluids now there is a second suppose if we consider the two dimensional flow then our expression two dimensional steady and incompressible then our expression is becomes del u by del x plus del v by del y equals to zero and suppose we have the one dimensional steady as well as incompressible flow then our expression is del u by del x equals to z so this is the our expression for the different types of flow for the general three dimensional continuity equations thank you thank you for watching this video